and good afternoon, I'll call to order the um, Committee on City Services and the Northampton City Council. And note that present here are Councillor Jim Nash, Councillor Dennis Bidwell, Councillor Marianne Large, and myself, Maureen Carney. And um, note that the, the last but not least. And excuse me, yes, our full executive assistant, uh, Laura Kutzler. Thank you. And note that there is no public today to offer comment. And I'll ask then if there is a motion for the minutes to approve the minutes of June 3rd. Approve. Second. And any additions, corrections, or otherwise? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay, so we have a bunch of <coughs> appointments. And I'm just trying to pull up my, you know, but I think I have the information here. Um, so we, uh, the first two, oh, well, first for the Arts Council is a Danielle Amodio. And this is a new appointment to fulfill the unexpired term of Dara Herman Zierlin. And um, I don't have the actual email because I couldn't get it on my phone here, but we've been in touch and I, you know, told this and do to most of the uh, appointees that I deal with that uh, certainly prepared to offer, to ask for a positive recommendation and also note the <coughs> immense um, professional capabilities that most of our appointees bring to their positions on our various boards and committees. So in her um, application to the Arts Council, Ms. Amodio does note that she has a strong background in professional knowledge of communication strategy, including print and digital marketing and social media, as well as public programming strategy and implementation. She brings 10 years of experience working with arts and cultural institutions. She's committed to making sure that opportunities to experience arts and culture are open and accessible to everyone, regardless of race, gender, sexuality. <coughs> age or socioeconomic background. Ms. Amodio has a track record of implementing public programs and communication strategies at museums and cultural institutions aimed at promoting inclusivity and community engagement. She also has lots of experience in building partnerships to design and amplify communications and programmatic initiatives. And Ms. Amodio has experience working as part of a team, has been on a number of committees and working groups, including Museums 10 Inclusion Committees, Arts at Amherst Steering Committee, Amherst College Communications Working Group, Amherst College Activities Committee, and Amherst Cultural District Steering Committee. And I'll note also that Ms. Amodio is the <clears throat> Marketing and Public Program Specialist at the <coughs> Mead Art Museum at Amherst College. So certainly somebody with immense uh, uh, community and local experience as well as uh, vast professional experience for this position. So I would ask if there's someone who would offer a motion for a motion that we Danielle Amodio. Second. Okay. To the Arts Council. Moved and seconded to send Danielle Amodio with a positive recommendation for appointment to the Arts Council to the full City Council. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. And um, <clears throat> I also was able to review the Jason Perry application, which is a reappointment to the uh, Cultural Council. I'm sorry, to the Conservation Commission. And as you know, you may have seen that um, Jason Perry is a senior environmental engineer at Ty uh, and Bond. Um, and again, in my communications, I you know, have noted how much <coughs> professional experience these appointees bring to these volunteer positions. And uh, I'm very grateful for people who are willing to continue to serve, you know, to be reappointed because we all know those of us who've served on these amazing mm -hmm. commissions, it's 
it's hard work. Mm -hmm. So um, yes, Mr. Perry was interested in still <coughs> serving on the board. And I would ask again for a positive <coughs> recommend a motion for a positive recommendation. So moved. Okay. okay, moved and seconded to send the name Jason Perry with a positive recommendation for the Conservation Commission to the full city council. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay, and that brings us then to Judith Kimberly. Yes. Um, Judith Kimberly uh, <clears throat> is a reappointment to the Disability Commission. Judith has been a member on our Disability Commission for over going on, this will be her sixth year. Her and Chris Palamas have lived in our city for many years and they live off of Park, Park Hill Road. Judith was our secretary of our commission and stepped down with that position, but continues on as a full member. She is very active. She was very active in helping the commission with the designing of the ADL, ADA self-evaluation <coughs> excuse me, and transition plan update and attended our first open public hearing on June 24th. And just this alone is our ADL, ADA self-evaluation and transition plan update. This did not happen overnight. It took us a good year and a half to do this. And it's just a draft. Once we have two more hearings, then we'll be sending this to the mayor with recommendations because of these hearings of people bringing other things to our attention that we can add on to it. But she was highly involved with our commission on this. Anyways, um, Judith loves our city of Northampton and works very hard to help people with disabilities to have a safe and a good quality of life. She wants to continue on making our city what it is, vibrant, and wants to thank our Committee on City Service Committee to reappoint her back on back up on the Disability Commission. So I would like to make <coughs> a positive recommendation um, with approval to full City Council on Judith Kimberly on the Commission on Disabilities. Second. Okay, moved and seconded to send the name Judith Kimberly for reappointment to the uh, Disabilities Commission with a positive recommendation to full city council. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you. Um, Gene Page, <coughs> he is also a reappointment on the Disability Commission. <coughs> Gene has lived in our city for 40 years. He is a present member of the Disability Commission. Gene is the chair and enjoys working with all the members on the commission. He has worked very closely with all the members on designing the same thing, the ADA self-evaluation and transition plan update for 2019. Which we just had a public hearing on June 24th and that was um, Gene's first time ever involved in a public hearing where he had to get up and speak and so forth and he did very well. Um, Gene was a former member to the Northampton Cable Vision Commission and was a member of the Mass Commission on Special Education. Gene enjoys working on the commission and to help strengthening ADA compliance procedures. He thanks us for reconsidering him to be back on the Commission on Disabilities. And the same thing, I would like to move with a positive recommendation for Gene Page to be approved on the Commission on Disabilities. Okay. Moved and seconded to send the name Jean Page with a positive recommendation for appointment to the Committee on Disabilities to the full city council. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Next one. Chris Palamas. Chris Palamas. Um, this is a reappointment also. Um, I talked with Chris and he's very interested in being reappointed back on the Disability Commission. Chris was our chair for some time on the commission, but had to step down due to finishing writing his book, but continued on as a working member. Chris's interest is to continue the work we have begun, which we all have been involved updating and strengthening the ADA compliance procedures in ways that address the needs of all residents 
with disabilities to be full a part of the life of the city to benefit from its programs, its parks, and pedestrian environment. Quick, Chris worked tirelessly, believe me, tirelessly, on the needs and drafting the ADA self-evaluation and transition plan update, which our commission approved to vote with approval, um, with a, the approval during the month of May of 2019. We held our first hearing on the plan update, June 24th public hearing, and Chris did very, very well explaining the procedures and the recommendations with the laws of ADA compliance. And for our first meeting, we had that meeting up in Florence, also on the planning of Florence, our attendance was pretty, pretty good. So I am making, again, a positive recommendation to reappoint Chris Palamas back on the Commission on Disabilities. Second. Okay, moved and seconded to send the name Chris Palamas with a positive recommendation for appointment to the Disability Commission to the full city council. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Ripping right to peace. Yeah. Councilor? Oh, okay, so I have uh, Jeremy Whalen, who I wasn't able to get a hold of, um, but uh, he is up for reappointment and um, that uh, I interviewed him, I think it was only last December or so, because he's filling a seat on uh, the Human Rights Commission, and we spent like an hour just chatting at the roost. And we know him well from his presentations at council, and he's uh, <coughs> uh, definitely interested in, in our community and being involved. Um, that uh, One of the things I recall from the, the, the time we spent at the roost, he talked about, um, I think it was over, um, uh, it might have been the holiday break, winter break, that he'd spent it in Syria, working at um, with um, at some school and uh, with with children and that um, and that during the summer he had been up in Maine working at a camp with children with disabilities so um, I imagine that's why he's off the radar and hasn't been able to respond he's at one of these locations but um, uh, that you know I would like to send his name forward with a positive recommendation Okay, moved and seconded to send the name Jeremy Whalen for reappointment to the Human Rights Commission with a positive recommendation to full city council. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. And yes, um, Marilyn Castriata, I think is how she pronounces it. This is a, a reappointment. She's been on the Public Shade Tree Commission since 2015. She's a um, membership engagement coordinator at Kestrel Trust, uh, a real successful regional land trust that does some stewardship work here in the city. Um, she's very, she's got a master's degree in conservation biology, decades of experience in, you know, in related conservation and environmental fields. So she's a really strong contributor to uh, to the Public Shade Tree Commission. She's very proud of the work of the commission, over 700 trees planted around the city. Um, so I would uh, make a motion for a positive recommendation to the Public Shade Tree Commission. Marilyn Castriata. Okay, yes. moved and seconded to send the name Marilyn Castriata for a reappointment to the Public Shade Tree Commission with a positive recommendation to the Full City Council. All in favor? Aye. 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 And then back to the Disability Commission, Councilor. Um, Rodney Kunev, I spent a lengthy talk with Rodney between um, hand signing with him to the best I could and also on the reading of books, which I can do. Anyways, Rodney attended the Clark School for the Deaf from 1946 to 1958. Rodney was born with normal hearing, and in 1943, due to an infection in his ears, he lost 70% of his former hearing. Rodney graduated from Bentley College on a Boston from 1962 to 1964. Rodney bought his first house on Glendale Avenue and then moved to his home on Reed Avenue. And Rodney has been here quite a long time. This is his home. Rodney is a Clark School historian, having his office at Bell Hall Clark School. 
Closed caption has been a problem for people who are hard of hearing or deaf, and he wants to work hard to make it happen in our city for all meetings. Rodney feels that it, it is an abuse for all involved who are deaf and hard, hard of hearing, and I have to agree with that. Concerns of sidewalks need to be improved for wheelchair and people with the use of crutches. Bradley wants to be part of the Disability Commission to help raise awareness and support from as many people as possible for all the great work that the Disability Commission already does. Bradley loves our city of Northampton and wants to get back to our city. Bradley wants to thank the committee for his reconsideration to be on the Disability Commission as a new appointment. I make a positive recommendation uh, for Rodney Kunev to be appointed to the Commission on Disabilities. Okay, then moved and seconded to send the name Rodney Kunev for <coughs> to fill a vacancy on the uh, Disability Commission. Uh, to send that name with a positive recommendation uh, to the full city council. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Gordon Meadows. Yes. All right. I had the opportunity to speak with Gordon last week, um, and that um, I just want to read this part of his uh, letter here. For the past seven years, I have worked to develop a large-scale energy conservation projects as the business development manager for CTI Energy Services, an energy service company, ESCO, based in Amherst. So what what this means is that. Um, th this company works with different government agencies to um, to upgrade efficiencies into their lighting systems, their heating systems. Um, he lists here, you know, public housing authorities, the FAA, the VA, and he's very familiar with the way things are funded and gov through government and um, and how to work with the regulations. And I mean. He's really at home with everything that our um, our energy commission is is going to be looking at, and he really understands the process. I I mean, he we had a kind of I asked him one question, and he went for about 15 minutes and just like listing off all of the different ways, like you know that you know his experience could touch on things that the energy and sustainability commission will be looking at. So. I, I think he's going to be a terrific addition and would like to send his name forward with a positive recommendation. Sorry. Okay, moved and seconded then to send the name Gordon Meadows with a positive recommendation for appointment to the Energy and Sustainability Commission uh, to the Boston Council. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great, <clears throat> thanks. And last but not least, Last but not least, Marissa Elkins uh, would be a new appointee to the planning board. She is an attorney, a criminal defense attorney here in, in town with a, with a growing, uh, sophisticated practice. She briefly, you may recall, was a candidate for the to some council and decided that was going to be too much work, so she took the planning board instead. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a conversation about that. that she, she, she's, she, she really wants to be involved. Uh, she just thinks this would be a little bit more private, less out there in the middle of the public world. I said, well, don't be so sure. But in any event, uh, she doesn't have a uh, you know, legal background in planning and zoning matters per se. It's in other areas. But she looks forward to using a different part of her legal brain for this. And, I think the diversity that she will bring to the planning board is really good. She also has two kids in our schools, so um, there's lots of reasons to think she would be a real uh, benefit to the planning board. So I would move a uh, positive recommendation on her behalf. Second. Okay, moved and seconded to send the name Marissa Elkins with a positive recommendation for appointment to the planning board. Um, to the full city council. All in favor? Aye. 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 Very good. I have to say that may be a record. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And before we move on, I just want to note um, 
I'm just always so impressed by the caliber of candidate that we have, candidates that we have for appointments to all of these committees, and the professional expertise that they bring, and I do want to also credit the mayor's office for sifting through what I understand are piles of applications, and it's just such a good thing to know that so many people in Northampton really want to be involved at this level in our community. So, thank you, everyone. And that brings us on to talk a little bit about um, the, so we had talked in the past, although we weren't sure that we had it, but we remember talking about whether we would forego an August meeting. Like we did last year. Yeah, we did last year, and given the fact that um, Councilor Barge will be away, um, I, I know all these terms, but we could either forego or reschedule, and some of that depends on what we get, what's referred to us. So part of this will probably be negotiating with the mayor's office to see if they could hold off on sending us names. So it depends on, for example, I don't know, we don't have any idea what the July meeting holds no, for us, I right? No, like until next Monday or Tuesday, we'll know then. Yeah, and today oh, is Monday. So maybe we could, we could, we could make an inquiry and ask if they're intending, because even if, it, if there is an appointment, a referral's made to us in August, then we can do them in September. Right. No, we so can even do it in September. Oh, well, that's true. It's possible that if we get, okay, so it is possible that if we get some in July, we could ask then mm -hmm. Councilor O'Donnell if he'll recess the regular council meeting for us to do a brief. Um, mm -hmm. That's true. Like we yeah. don't report. Yeah. If they just didn't know if court would even know if I were to call him. Cause yeah, because they don't need the yeah, they do it on it's that, that pretty, right before right, Tuesday afternoon, the, like at 3 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So also, too, which I found out, um, which commission, what committee, city council committee, is not having a meeting in August? Legislative matters? Um, they're not having a July meeting. They're not meeting next Monday. Oh, okay. They, that's good to know. Actually, they're going to have something, that. I think, referred to for June, August. July, yeah. There you go. August, but not July. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, um, I mean, we could uh, just make that decision and then we'll find out next week whether there are referrals and if there are, whether we can take them up. Well, we wouldn't want to take them up as soon as our July. Uh, well, no, we could take them up again at our August meeting, which still be within August the 45 days. days. Full council. Yeah, because it's 45 days, right? Right. And if we got them on July, yeah, we'd still have time to take them up in the August meeting rather than having a separate city services meeting on mm -hmm. August 5th. Sure. Can we do that? Okay. okay. All right, so let's plan on that. The other thing we need to consider is the Labor Day first Monday mm -hmm. in September. You're right now the calendar says to be determined. So yeah. It's not a meeting schedule. Right, right. So, well, we can't hold it on that day, obviously. No, exactly. So it's whether or not we want it. Well, sometimes we've held it on the Tuesday after. Sometimes mm -hmm. we've done it on, but it looks like here, did we talk about changing it to the 9th? The 9th, the only yeah. suggestion. That's fine with me, except that um, we have a 5 o'clock meeting for legislative matters. But we can typically do a 4 o'clock meeting and then a 5 o'clock meeting, depending on what we want to put on the agenda in September. Right. I don't have a problem with what you're saying September 9th, correct? Yeah, that would, the only thing is we'd have to limit it to an hour, which right. you know, is usually not a problem. I mean, that. we could, even if we did have a, um, if, if there was some, if there was a department that we wanted to meet with, we would probably still do our appointments and that if we needed to. So should we just decide on that date that way we can put it in our calendar? Right before. Second grade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay. Done. Well, I hate to say that this may be a pretty deep meeting, but I'll ask if there's any other business, even though we can't ask that if we don't have it on the agenda. So I'll ask if there's a final motion. I would move that we adjourn. I second that. Okay. Non-debatable. All in favor? Aye. Aye.